What's going on guys? It's your boy Turbite Reacts here and I am back with another reaction of Peaky Blinders. Season 3 episode 4 is here today and it's getting spicy. It's getting spicy. As I said man, I love the pacing of the show. Even though it's only 6 episodes per season so far, I don't know if they increase it um, as the series goes forward but i'm enjoying it man they do a very good job of having a story told in such a short time and you know the few time skips and stuff like that that they've had it's just so seamless um so in the last episode you know tommy basically um whoever they are the duchess or whatever the the, the, um, the people that he, he's trying to provide the um the armored vehicles to right the tanks right found out that the priest that's been giving him problems and passing the information through um to another source giving information to the russians so um the Russian knowing it, it is going to be a problem, so he asks for permission to take out the priest. Kind of pass a little bit of message to, um, secretly, to um, to the to the Duchess, right? And now is yet to be seen what's happening, right? In last episode we saw Tommy got his revenge for Grace. Um, I was having to see, even though. He's kind of spiraling out of control right now, so I don't know where he's heading. Um, Arthur had to kill the guy. I mean, Sangretta, uh, they speared his wife, which Tommy did not want. Um, I'm kind of not liking John right now because he wants to be a gangster so bad. But he, he, he you, you, you know, it, it's kind of like it's forced. You know what I'm saying? And it, it's just, it's just so forced with him, you know? It, it's just like you're trying to figure out what's going on with him. Why he feels like he needs to prove himself, I don't know. Because if he needed to prove himself, Tommy wouldn't have him in the position um that he has him um does arthur want out of the game because now his girl is pregnant i don't know um could it could be a possibility that he wants out um so i don't know what's gonna go forward how he's gonna proceed from here um i don't want to make any speculations towards i'm a little bit mellow doing this doing this intro right now because um i don't want to seem too hype because this season one of the best seasons but it hasn't started out in the greatest of ways you know it, it's just so melancholy so far it's just all weird things going on sadness anger all of that good, all of that stuff that's been going on, you know, so, I mean, we lost Grace, I didn't, that's something I did not expect them to kill off the, you know, but it is what it is, loss is loss, and I'm mourning, just like Tommy, so, um, so I'm gonna jump into this episode, man, hope you guys come back and check out the review, of course, um, so I will see you guys for the review. All right, so here we go, man. Review, review, review. Peaky Blinders season three, episode four, man. That was a doozy. Let me relax a little bit. Um, let me try to get my thoughts together because, um, I don't want to talk about Linda. I just want to talk about, cause I knew I, 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 I just got confused for a little bit during that episode because I was like, I thought 
those people that were Russians that they weren't for Russia. You get what I'm saying? Like, and, and when Tommy described them at the end there, then it brought back into perspective what I actually thought was happening. So I thought I was being mistaken um, earlier, um, but I really wasn't. So their actual plan is to get the Russians to commit a violent act on British soil so they can cut off diplomatic relations. And in turn, also, they could declare war if this happens. So stuff like this, um, it, it's a possibility in real life when certain, thing, um, certain things can happen. Like, say, for instance, um, somebody bombs like a, a embassy like oh say say the u.s decides to bomb the brazilian or, or somebody here decides to bomb not the u.s but they could orchestrate it in a way um or somebody in the u.s decides to bomb the brazilian embassy right just an example um legally or officially brazil can declare war against the u.s because it's a violent act on Brazilian soil, even though it's here, you get what I'm saying. It's just like, um, it's just like how when 9/11 happened, they could declare war on that country, even though it's not the country. It's a faction in the country. You know what I'm saying? Afghanistan, whatever. We all know it. We knew it at Al Qaeda back then. Um, now we have ISIS. So it's just those that for Tommy to to figure that out he explicitly told him and tommy had to kind of put two and two together and be like oh so so that's what you guys are planning oh so i'm here thinking oh it's just a robbery blah 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 and this is all just something so they can cut off diplomatic relations whatever the situation is so he got the russian somebody from the russian embassy and advised them about it about telling them that the robbery is just a setup so that if they blow it up because um, the armored vehicles, if they decide, because they know about the robbery, so they were going to blow up all the armored vehicles or whatever, they tell them if they do that, that will be committing a violent act on British soil, so that would be a problem, right? So away from all of that, I just do not like, I'm not liking Linda's character. And the thing, the, the reason why I don't like her character is not because she doesn't have good intentions. She's two-faced as a mug, right? She's very two-faced. And I, I absolutely despise people who are like that. Like you're one person, you're trying to be uh, this uppity Christian holy person. And on the other and, and on the other end, you're trying to extort money from somebody. Like, no. It's either... You, I never really had a problem with what she was trying to do for Arthur, trying to get him out of the game, giving him good advice, even though I rolled my eyes because I'm like, we're talking about Arthur here. Like, you get what I'm saying? For all the good... I mean, look at what she instigated at, the, at you know, at the beginning of the episode with the, the Women's March. Immediately, Tommy knows it was her. Everybody knows it's her because the ink... Esme ain't going to, you know what I'm saying? Esme is not going to gather um, nobody to go nowhere. Esme just complains all freaking day. That's all she does. That's all she knows how to do is just complain, complain, complain. And, and, and then she was trying to get money to go buy more cocaine. How are you snorting cocaine and you got a child, man, I, it's, you and you're pregnant? I mean, come on, man. You know what I mean? Like she's another one that's getting on my nerves you know what i'm saying and and then um lizzie's not so much of a problem she's more of a loyalist more than anything else like she's loyal to the family um because she has this sense of legitimacy now outside of her she used to be a whore whatever but she was saying that you know tommy every now and then tommy you know, has sex with her, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if it's willingly or, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. 
it doesn't make she doesn't make it seem like she she was willing to do it. Um, I'm pretty sure Tommy's not paying her for it. I mean, maybe I I don't know. I don't want to assume anything because it wasn't explicitly explained, right? So I'm not going to assume anything. So um, the situation with the Duchess, she's too crazy. She's too crazy. Um, so, um, but I was a little confused after the fact when they were in the room planning, like, did she come over there to pass on a message, give him clues? Is that what she was doing? I don't know. Or maybe it's because she was out of her mind and just talking all kinds of shit. He just picked up on a lot of things that she was saying. You get what I'm saying? Because she was talking about, I'm going to teach you how to live in a house like this and all of this other stuff. So I don't know if she unintentionally gave him information or intentionally gave him information. So I'm not a hundred percent sure on that, but, um, I don't like the fact that Tommy went after the priest by himself. Like you're just asking for trouble that that guy ha always has bodyguards on him. Why go at him by himself? You get what I'm saying? Like anybody in their right mind, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's why Polly said to him, you're grieving making bad decisions and it's so obvious that he's making bad decisions look at where it ended up um so i don't know if it's the priest the priest is planning the priest is the one with the actual plan okay the other um the other people they have no clue what's really going on they think this is just about getting armored vehicles and is and and they're out of the loop but what um, what the priest and, you know, what he says, section D that he's working for, their plan is to get, um, the Russians to commit a violent act on British soil. That's their plan. So the, the, the people that the Duchess, their, their faction or whatever, the Russians, whatever, they have no idea what's really going on. So, um, they're just asking about, they just want to know what's happening with the vehicles. Are they going to get to where they need to get to on time, delivered, whatever, you know? And Tommy had already had that plan laid out. It's like, we might, this is happening and we're going to actually be robbing them or whatever the situation is. So, this season, great so far. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Still um, waiting to see how everything is going to come together. Um, there's, there's some plot points here and there that kind of throws, throws off what's re what's really going on, um, or not, ne not necessarily, um, need to be there, but, you know, it is what it is just to pass the time sometimes. So I love the season. I love the season so far. It's definitely an, you know, like a 9.5 out of 10, four episodes in. So far, I don't have much problems with the season so far, but it's, it's, it's good. No doubt about it. So I will see you guys for the next episode. Hopefully I can get an episode of this out to you guys on Friday. Also, um, I will try my best to do it. Um, thank you guys for watching as always. It's your boy, Terabyte Reacts and peace.